Hi, welcome to Yacht Got Video Boat Sales. Today we have Contiki, which is a Broom Crown 37 motor yacht for sale, lying on the River Guadiana in between Spain and the Algarve in Portugal. The owner of the boat is Dutch. His name is Lex, and he's lived on the boat for the last eight years. He used to be a classic car restorer and has maintained the boat to the highest of standards. He has put the boat on the market due to his age. His wife and himself have decided to relocate back to Holland. After spending half a day filming with Lex, I can tell you that the engines run like a dream. You can see both engines here, on the port and starboard. Lex tells me that the boat actually uses at 1500 RPM about 30 litres an hour, which is very economical. The boat is actually coming out of the water next week to have new anti-fouling and as you can see the boat is in pristine condition. Well let's now have a look around the boat. The boat has two helms, one actually you can see here and another on the aft deck which gives you ease of manoeuvring. There is a forward cabin which you can see we'll go down to in a minute with a galley just forward of here, entertainment systems, drink locker and also plenty of storage. There is autopilot and VHF below and on the aft deck on the other steering which we'll have a look at in a minute there is autopilot, echo sounder, fish finder and many other instrumentation. As you can see the whole floor system will come up to gain access to the engine which I'll show you in a minute. The aft cabin is very spacious with a large double bed plenty of storage. The master cabin is ensuite with a shower and also a separate head. I've actually put the photographs of these at the end of the video because trying to film in a confined space was very difficult. The head is to the right there and the left hand door over here that is the shower unit and as I was saying there's plenty of storage in this aft cabin and lots of space. All the upholstery and headlining was replaced in 2010 and as you can see there's plenty of storage. Going forward now we have two single berths and also the galley. There is a separate head to the right opposite the galley and the forward two berths are quite spacious. There's storage lockers above the berths and sliding windows and a forward hatch for good ventilation. All the upholstery and woodwork is in excellent condition here. Now moving back to the galley. The galley is equipped with a 24 240 volt fridge so it can be either used on the DC or AC system. You have hot and cold water in the galley and the cooker is an actual two burner with an oven below. All in excellent condition and there is a small grill as well. Now going on to the aft deck, all the upholstery was replaced this year. The bimini and window covers are all in good condition and there's plenty of shade. The helm consists of Raytheon radar and also autopilot. It has a hummingbird uh, echo sounder and all your normal uh, electronics including a VHF. The boat is on a Dutch flag as you can see and that's because the owner's from Holland. And as you can see all the upholstery is absolutely beautiful. Now on the rear of the boat you have some davits and he's also giving uh, the outboard engine but there is no dinghy uh, with this. He doesn't have a dinghy anymore because he always keeps the boat in the marina. Uh, it was ease of access to the shore. It does have the outboard engine as I said and the davits to hang the dinghy. The marina itself costs about 300 euros a month but you can actually go up the Guadiana and there are plenty of places to anchor to keep the boat. It has a generator as well. Now if we have a look around the outside as you can see all covers and curtains to keep the sun from bleaching the wood. This is a beautiful little town, Ayamonte, and you have Villa Real opposite. 
The boat is being sold with all the normal running gear. The only thing Lex is taking with him is his own personal tools. As I said, he used to be a car restorer, so he's very fond of his tools. Electric windlass on the front. Wipers for the internal helm. And all the fenders and all the running gear is all in good condition. With the boat being kept here on the estuary, you have a vast cruising ground all round the year. You can either choose to go up the rivers, either the Guadiana or the river that runs up to Seville, and Gibraltar is only 120 miles away. So the cruising ground is absolutely fantastic. Now let's have a look at the engines. All the floor section comes up, which gives you great access to the engine room and the gearboxes. There's two new batteries, um, house batteries, which are, I believe, 120 amp, 24 volt, which is ample to run the boat. And then also you have the cranking batteries. The floor system comes up easily once you've moved the table out the way, as you can see Lex moving everything. You have a fuel capacity of 450 litres in the main tank and an auxiliary tank of 250 litres, which is plastic. You also have a water capacity of 450 litres. You have two AGM starter batteries, which are 100 amp, and also, as I said, the AGM 120, uh, which are controlled via two Victron chargers. The engines are Perkins HT3, 5.4 turbo diesels with Borg Warner uh, gearboxes running two three blade props hydraulic steering pressurized water and heated water and as you can see the engines are very well kept you also have a waste water tank which has got a capacity of 80 litres and engines and gearbox can be pumped out uh, when an oil change is needed. Fuel system. And as you can see, I can't emphasize enough that the engines are very well kept, as you saw it running earlier. The bilge is clean and dry. And the house batteries live at the back here and you also have the water pump system and of course it's all uh, insulated to keep it nice and quiet now I hope you enjoyed this video you can find more information of the boat at the website and if you need to contact Lex uh, you can do that directly just contact us first and I can put you in touch with him for any specific details that you require. I'm going to leave you now with a load of photographs of around the boat and more photographs can be found at the website. Thank you very much indeed for watching this video.